if you're stuck inside because of the polar vortex and you're starting to get a little cabin fever, I have something for you. You probably started off this morning excited, spent some time with family, work from home, maybe decided not to work at all and had all these great ideas, creative things to do with the kids or projects you wanted to get done, but you got stuck down that endless hole that is your phone and now you've been laying on the couch looking through Instagram and Facebook for hours and you feel gross. I'm sure you're not alone. So I've got a series of breath practices or pranayama to help you get up out of that. Even though this may feel weird, why not take this opportunity to try something new? I promise you it works. Not just because you think it works, you're actually changing things physiologically. Your breath is incredibly powerful. So this may feel weird, but just try it. You're stuck inside. It's a snow day, it's a freeze day. Let's give it a chance. Close your eyes, sit up tall, get off the couch, or sit tall on the couch. Close your eyes. Just take a moment to notice the sounds in the environment, both inside and outside of the room you're in. And notice the temperature on your skin, where you feel cool, where you feel warm, as if you're seeing a heat map of your body. Now stick your tongue out and pant like a dog. Nobody's looking. Go ahead and do it. Put your hand on your navel and notice how your low belly and your navel is pumping in firmly to push out the exhale. Keep going. Now move it to the nose. Close the lips. This is breath of fire or kapalabhati breathing. Keep going. Soft jaw, soft lips. All the power is coming from the navel and below, not in the face. We're not squeezing the lips or lifting up in the cheeks. Everything is soft in the face, powered from below. Keep going. This breath of fire will heat you up from the inside, oxygenate your blood, and give you a little energy to start getting up off the couch. Keep going. Stay with it. If you're getting tripped up at all, just focus on the exhale. Think exhale, exhale, exhale. Pump, 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 pump. Pull back, pull back, pull back. When you relax the belly in between, the inhale happens automatically. Keep going. We've been stuck inside, or we are stuck inside, so let's make the most of it. Try something totally new, even if it feels weird. This works. One more minute. Keep going. Your belly is really pumping. You should feel some heat building up in the low belly. Roll the eyes up like you're looking on the inside of your forehead, the third eye point, just a little bit longer. Take a big inhale. Hold it at the top, soften the tongue, relax the jaw, and lift your pelvic floor, all the muscles around the base of the pelvis, like you're holding in gas and pee and all the muscles in between, lifting, Exhale, keep the eyes closed at the third eye and let go of the breath. Let it do whatever it wants to right now. Take a moment to notice sensations in the body. Any tingles, warmth, lightness, weight, any waves of sensation.
cultivating a warm space within. Staying warm inside today, but going within is sometimes cold and inhospitable. We want to make it okay and comfortable and safe to slow down and see what's going on inside. So we're not only energizing to get up and off of the couch, but we're quieting the mind a bit so we might have a better idea of what we want to do when we do get up off the couch. What do we do with ourselves? Just stay with sensations. Notice the little buzzing and the tips of the fingers. If there's any areas of heat or even discomfort, just notice. And then notice where you feel comfortable. What part of the body feels really good right now? Keeping the eyes closed. There's nothing for you to look at. I'll coach you through it. We'll inhale in eight sniffs through the nose and out in four sniffs through the nose. So I'll do it with you. So that's in eight sniffs out in four sniffs. This is another breath that's really energizing. Anytime we put emphasis on the inhale, we're energizing. Anytime we put emphasis on the exhale, elongating the exhale, it's more calming. All of it's calming. This is a calm energy we're cultivating. So give it a try. Keep going. Inhale in eight sniffs. Exhale in four. This will force you to explore how much time you need to put in each segment. How forcefully are you pulling in on each sniff so that you fill the full inhale with eight? And how forcefully do you have to push out the exhale to be fully, completely, uh, have expelled all the air in just four? So it might take a few rounds to get a feel for how how forcefully or how lightly you have to pull and push the air in or out. So play with this for a couple of minutes. I'll do it with you. going. As you expand and sniff in on the inhales, those eight sniffs, really feel the belly and the ribs expand. And on the exhales, as you sniff out, continuously draw the navel in closer and closer to your spine. Think of the vessel emptying or like a bellows starting to squeeze out. So you get bigger on the inhale and then smaller, smaller, squeezing all the muscles around the spine on the exhale sniffs. Just another minute here. Stay with it. Eyes at the third eye.
longer stay with it. I promise you these practices work, but you have to do them. You can't just watch me do them. Just one more round here, last time. And when you're finished with that fourth sniff out, expelling the lungs completely, pause there with the eyes closed, resting the hands in the lap, and just let the body do its own thing with the breath. After pranayama like that, sometimes the breath becomes so slow that it's imperceptible. Maybe the body wants to take some deep breaths. See if you can fully let go of control and let it do what it's gonna do. Maybe pull yourself outside of your body and see yourself sitting there. See the body breathing. It doesn't need your thought to, to breathe. It does this on its own. Keep the eyes at the third eye. Roll them up to the middle of the forehead. See, like you're looking at a blank screen on the inside of your forehead. You might see some colors. Maybe it's just still and quiet of some version of black or gray. There's some depth, maybe some texture to it. yourself notice the thoughts coming up without being afraid continuing to come back to that blank screen on the inside of the forehead this is a screen that is asking nothing of you it's still and quiet let that be a soothing place to go to a comforting, quiet stillness. It's here that we can start to hear that inner wisdom, that inner voice, our intuition, loud and clear. Using these practices to quiet down all the noise in our heads. The wisest voice, the voice of our highest self, our truest essence, that starts to get louder. together right in front of the heart pressing the knuckles of the thumbs deep into the notch in the sternum and feel your heart beating into your thumbs that's all you have to pay attention to now really nice pressure in the hands about five pounds of pressure pushing into the sternum gently finding the heartbeat and see if you can maintain that awareness of the heartbeat while also rolling the eyes up and looking at that third eye point. You may have noticed the thoughts start to quiet already. They never go completely away, but they start to clear out and some more interesting stuff starts to come in rather than the old list of to-dos. Maybe you're already starting to get a sense of what you'd like to do when you get up off the couch. Maybe you're feeling a little antsy, excited, motivated. Maybe an idea has popped in. Maybe there's just a quiet stillness that's asking nothing from you. And 
if there's still some fear of being here in this quiet with the eyes closed, going inward, know that that's okay and this takes time. Bring a hand over your heart, cover the other hand on top, press in, find that heartbeat still. Maybe you feel it more clearly with both hands pressing in. Remind yourself that you're safe, loved, whole. Take a big inhale. Hold it for a moment. Lift the pelvic floor. Find the heartbeat and the third eye again. Grateful for this quiet. Give yourself a little blessing. Give yourself some love. Love yourself like that little girl, that little boy. Exhale. And open the eyes slowly. I hope you feel a little more centered, calm, clear-headed, and a little more energized. Namaste.